everyone I, so come with me on my solo birthday trip we're going to qatar abu dhabi and dubai i'm currently in the philadelphia airport on my layover it's a three hour layover i came from new orleans i live in new orleans new orleans to philly and then philly to doha and i think it's going to be like a 15 15 and a half 15 and a half hour flight very long so i definitely struggled getting on the flight earlier today because my bag was 63 pounds 63 pounds i was supposed to have 50. so yeah i definitely had to work a miracle in that airport trying to get it down to weight finally got the bag to exactly 50 pounds shout out to my girl Lynn though she was super sweet helping me out she couldn't let me slide them, but it's me in my backpack now and we're heading to check in currently on this three hour layover i'm upset they don't really have a lounge that i can go to so i'm sitting in this minute suite it's just me so it's pretty chill for the next hour um they had a gym that i wanted to go to this little fitness center so i wanted to work out take a shower there and then just get like ready all cleaned up for the flight but it was closed I was not happy about that so i'm just waiting in here there's like a screaming kid next door and then I'm going to my flight. I actually really love long flights, so I'm pretty excited about that. I'm on American Airlines. When I booked it, it was with Qatar Airways, and I was so excited because I really wanted to fly with them. But then it got changed, and now it's American. Apparently, they're partners, but still, I wanted to be on a Qatar plane. But my little short flight between Qatar to Abu Dhabi is on Qatar Airways, but it's not the same. But they did move me to premium economy, so that should be cool. So before a long flight, I like to treat it like basically getting ready for bed. So that's pretty much what I did. Mom clean, teeth brush, face wash, all makeup on. Ready for this long flight. My gate is very, very crowded. Like, but in my cabin, there's only like 17 seats, I think. So it won't be that many people. So I'm happy about that. Hopefully no kids, no crime babies. It was actually a lot of seats open. I'm hoping nobody gets like upgraded or anything. So it's still pretty empty. The premium economy cabin was quite spacious. The seats do recline and they have a foot rest. So I had a lot of room. They served the meal. I got the buttered chicken and it was pretty good. It did need a little bit of seasoning, but it was straight. It came with a couple sides and dessert, so I just sat there and watched my movie, and later on they brought another snack, which was stromboli and some chocolate ice cream. And has anybody else ever heard of this movie? It was so crazy. It was like Angry Black Girl and Her Monster. It was nuts. Then later on, they bought breakfast. I got the pancakes, but I didn't realize it was going to be fruit on there, which I don't like, so I should have got the eggs. And shout out to them for having my girl Megan Thee Stallion on the entertainment console. Just landed in Doha, Qatar. Went currently at Beige Claim. Went through customs. It was very easy, but the lady working it like so evil. Just look at me the whole time. I spoke to her when I got up there. I said hello. She was just like, mm hmm, looking all nasty. And then they wanted me to do like fingerprints, and I put my hand on the screen. She gonna look at me, and I was like, what? She said, don't touch the screen. You just told me to swipe. She's like, don't touch. So she had to wipe it off and I did it again. And it's just like, again, again, again. Oop, my bag's here. I gotta figure out how to get to where I'm going because it don't look like Uber is working over here, which is weird. Because it definitely said it did. But anyway, they lucky that people get on a no-fly list for fighting. And I know they very strict in the Middle East, so I ain't want to curse out, but I really want to curse out because she deserved it. Like, girl, don't play with me. If you hate your job, don't work because of the service. Anyway, let's go try to make it to the hotel. When I, it's like 5, almost 6 p.m. here, and it's dark, so it's nighttime. But we're going to get into some things. Okay, just kidding. I did not actually make it through customs. I just went through passport control. So I have to go to customs now since I've gotten my bag. So hopefully that's easy too. So yeah, customs actually indeed was a breeze. I, it was not existent. I walked through the man said, where you from? I said, the US, he said, have a nice day. And just walked through. So yeah, we're in Qatar. All right, I'm struggling. Now I'm on the metro. Don't be like me and think you can just get an Uber from the airport because Uber don't work out here. So we are about to pick up some metro. Pray for me. So I made it to the hotel. Quick little room tour. Bathroom's here. It's a new room. 
king bed. It's by myself. Little mini fridge. Mirror. The chair is super cute. The view, you can't really see much because it's dark and it's just a reflection, but just night life. Night light store. And of course, it wouldn't be a foreign country without a bidet. I feel like America is like literally the only people who don't have it. Okay, but a problem now. This is for shavers only, and this is not working in it. And my flat iron and a bunch of other stuff. And how is that the only outlet in the bathroom? Like the bathroom? Flat iron? Hello? And this is why I always do my own washcloth because foreign countries never have it. Like they don't believe in rags. Just get these big old towels. And if I ask for one, I bet you they would give me one that's like this size. I can't even lie. I feel like I'm really a beast for finding this place on my own. Like I took the metro, foreign first time here didn't even have wi-fi like it wanted you to connect with a phone number and obviously i can't get regular text messages because i'm not from here so i really beasted that off a map like come on come on but we made it here i'm not gonna lie i'm so tired i would love to just take a shower and go to bed but i'm in doha it's night one i gotta get out and see what's up so i need to get cleaned up doing makeup and go out i actually changed my mind again like i don't even care anymore it's nine o'clock i'm not going anywhere like I have a whole day tomorrow. It's not much to see or do in Qatar. I could get it all done tomorrow. It's fine. I am up. It is the morning. I guess officially first day one in Qatar. It's kind of a little gloomy looking. I don't know. But started on my hair and makeup. I'm about to go downstairs and get breakfast. See if I can exchange some currency. And then we're going to get out. It's about 9.30 in the morning. So we're going to have a long full day today since I didn't go out yesterday. So I just got this nuggets and pancakes with some yogurt. It's a breakfast we're not looking very impressive at all, but we're definitely gonna be getting something else to eat later. That breakfast was not it. I only got it because it was included, but if people pay for that, don't. Guess I'm just gonna go back to my room and finish getting ready so I can go. I heard the weather is supposed to rain tonight, so I know it's gonna be humid. It's probably gonna mess up my hair and I'm gonna be sad. Let me get a before video of my hair before I step outside and inevitably the weather is gonna mess it up. I already know, but we're ready. We're going to the National Museum of Qatar and take some pictures. My uh, ticket time is for 11. I wanted to have some time to take some pictures before, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. So I guess I'm gonna have to do it after. Uh, I have to go back to my room because I didn't even realize I didn't even put my freaking shoes on. I got these slides on still. completely rained on my hair is a mess I can see it's like got back curly again but whatever we're here it's pouring down raining but I need to get my pictures so they need to clear up <laughs> hair is just a mess i had to put the scarf on at this point after i got my pictures i did get some good pictures so now i want to head to a mcdonald's because i know they have a mcdonald's around here i have to try mcdonald's every time i'm in a new country because they always have these new dope menu items that we just don't have in the states so i'm excited i looked at the qatar menu yesterday and they got all kind of stuff so let's go eat and i am hungry I got my McDonald's and I'm so excited. Yes. It's the chicken bag. This on the picture was a leg, but it's like it's like real good chicken with the thigh or something. I don't know. Proper fish and It's yummy. The chicken wrap, bomb. It's got that hot, spicy sauce on it. So good. Awesome. And the chicken, it's spicy too. It's like grilled chicken from a chicken spot. America. America has a problem. But no, for real, America, why we don't have like chicken spot chicken at the McDonald's? Oh, 
That is it. My little cocoa Oreo donut. I have filling in it too. Everything is good. Warren McDonald's is really sad. I can't even eat this in the States, but every time I go out the country, gotta try it. So let's talk about the National Museum of Qatar. The museum itself is boring. It's not really worth it to me. I could have just went and took pictures on the outside and been fine. The only thing that was cool was that light, that little room with the lights that changed colors that I had video of. But the rest of the stuff was like, whatever. The architecture is beautiful. Like the outside of the building, oh my God, I cannot take my hair. Like look how bad it just reverted to being curly. Like I straightened it so much this morning trying to fix it Ugh. but yeah if you visit qatar and want to go to the museum of qatar if you just want to take pictures just just go to take the pictures on the outside you don't need to pay to get to the outside of the building that's you can just walk up and it was storming when i got there like my hair is a mess um and it's very confusing like this they didn't give me a map and every exhibit you go through is kind of like, which way do I go now? I don't know. Uh, whatever, I don't know. There's another museum, the Museum of Islamic Arts. I looked on that website to see what they had, and I just knew that none of that was enticing me. But the architecture of that one is really pretty, too, so I was kind of just going to go over there and take pictures. But after this morning with the storm, I'm not even in the mood. I took a bunch of pictures at the mushroom museum so i think i'm good on that but i am gonna go to the port when they have the little pastel buildings definitely go over there because it's so cute and it's so different and i haven't seen anything other other places looking like that now i'm gonna go back to the hotel and like do something with my hair before i do that this is what i came for it's like a storybook oh my gosh this is the MENA district of the old port in Qatar. So freaking cute. Definitely about to take some cute pictures over there. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I had to beat the uh the sun. It's already getting kind of well, it's been overcast all day because it's pretty rainy, but it's actually nice. It's not so hot anymore. enough pictures now i came to katara cultural village i'm inside the amphitheater in this place baby. Super. taking a bunch of pictures in here i love how it looks it's really i love that nowhere is like super crowded and everybody just minds their business like when you're taking your pictures like i'm a tripod out here they might look for a second but everybody going about their business they don't care about what you're doing love that architecture okay man it's the convenience store because i'm so thirsty i'm gonna get some juices and want to get some snacks because i like getting foreign snacks so let's see what they got i got, I got a cocoa melon i don't even like my i haven't seen one of these since i was in japan unfortunately they don't have any good candies like mostly they just got chips so i'm gonna pass and just get drink It's 6 30 p.m and y'all i am so tired i don't know why that uber ride was so long but i was like dozing off in there i came back to really charge my phone but i'm just sitting here and whew, i'm so tired but i'm gonna go to the souk wacky it's like a few minutes it's walking distance from here i definitely want to check that out apparently there's like a good non like intimidating souk so i'm happy about that because they intimidate me so much like I hate being harassed. I hate being like people constantly in your face trying to get you to purchase stuff. Like, leave me alone. Leave me alone. I hate that. So I definitely want to see over there. I really just want to buy a gold necklace in Dubai from the Dubai Gold Soup. Because I heard so many good things about them. And apparently they got like the best prices. But if I find some over here, I'll probably get that. I want to get a name necklace. I broke the one that I usually wear. I'm so sad. 
and i also want to get like some perfume oils like the custom make your own mixed oil so we'll see about that but yeah right now i'm trying to move on oh and this cocoa melon thing that i got from the little store it's actually so good and i do not like honeydew melon or whatever this is but the little coconut pieces in here it's bomb i don't think we have this in the states but because you know i don't have nothing in america so i'm walking to the soup now it's quite dark out here i wish there was more light oh we finally get into a street with some more light but it's very quiet i would say super safe this is like one of the safest cities in the world they are there are a few people outside but it's not in business sometimes it looks a little sketch about people just literally hanging out but this ain't america baby they ain't worried about you It's hot. I'm sweating out and sweating my hair out again. I can't wait to go in and take a shower. It's hot and humid here, just like in New Orleans. Like, oh my God, look at my face. But I had a successful little run at the souk. It is definitely a lot, lot, lot less intense and more enjoyable than Morocco. Morocco is insane. Like it makes you crazy and want to leave. I heard that Dubai is a lot like that, so I'm not looking forward to it. I did get some perfume oils. I got, Baccarat is my favorite. So I went in and asked if they had some like Baccarat. Of course they do. I'm sure it's something they just like mixed up. It's an oil though. And when he let me smell it, I was like, mm, this don't really smell like it, but he put it on my arm. And ever since I keep getting the whiff, and I'm like, ooh, it smells so good. And it definitely smells like Baccarat. And it's long lasting, obviously. So I'm glad I did get that. And I got another one. I don't remember what it is. Some little Arabic fragrance, but it smelled really good. And it was super cheap. So got that. And I got some eucalyptus crystals that I saw in Morocco. It clears up your sinuses so good. Like anytime you feel like a cold coming, you just sniff it and it's like, Vix to the 10th power it's so good so i gotta go back to my room shower and then pack because i have an early flight in the morning but i am looking forward to this airport because this is like the second best airport in the world behind singapore so i'm gonna go chill out at the lounge for a little bit probably get some food check it out oh wait i wanted to add yesterday when i was trying to find my way on the metro that was I noticed a black girl getting on the escalator and it's like anytime you're in a foreign country you know you see black people you get excited so i spoke to her i was like do you live here she said yeah she just moved here two months ago from malawi i was like wow and she asked me if i knew where i was going i was like i mapped it let me figure it out so when i got to the place where you buy your ticket she just stood there and a lady who works there she was like are you okay she was like yeah i'm just trying to make sure she's good so she really waited for me to see if i was okay that was so sweet of her and then the lady who worked there was a black girl too so i was just like we got to stick together we really be looking out for each other and i love that for us everywhere worldwide oh how bad this weather did my hair and my face is insane insane i look crazy goodbye anything at the Doha airport it was so freaking chaotic it's supposed to be like one of the best airports in the world I think it's number two right behind Singapore but I beg to differ like this paper looks crazy I need to fix it it sucks and the people were not that nice like well this is convenient the station has stuff like this because my bag be late a lot Now we wait.
just checked into my room in Abu Dhabi. This is a king room stadium view. Let me show you my favorite parts. Look at this stadium. This is such a good view. It looks so bright and pretty outside. And then you got this city in the background too. Love it. I wanted to get a little break and take a nap here, but they helped me out, helped me up so bad at the airport. I got stopped in customs. That's never happened to me. And it wasn't even because something that I had, like when I finally got my suitcase off the luggage carousel, there was a red tag on it. I was like, they put this red tag on here? I don't know what that means. And then when I'm walking out, the guy's just smiling and waving at me. And he's like, oh, come with me, you need to come here. And they made me go in his office. And when I got there, some guy was up there with his entire suitcase open and this lady's just going through it. And they made me do the same thing. So she went through every single item in my freaking suitcase. And nothing is in there. Like, what were you looking for? What were you looking for? You're just wasting my time. It made me have to repack my entire bag and basically broke it. And they like busted up my suitcase. This is my first trip even using this suitcase. So I'm definitely right into Qatar Airways. Let me tell you, I thought this was supposed to be a great airline. From what I've seen so far, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. And I'm definitely gonna let them know that they messed up my suitcase because they need to send me some money. So I'm going to change into my Abaya and go to the Casa Al Watan. And then later on, go to the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque. I saw it from the plane, oh my God, just so gorgeous. You know, the big, beautiful, white palace, house of prayer that you see when you think of Abu Dhabi. You can't come here and not go to that. I'm so excited. It's gonna be so beautiful. Definitely gonna take so many pictures there. Ugh. But um, able to take a nap. I don't really have enough time. I wanted to get to the Casa place by like two so that I can get to the palace, I mean the Grand Mosque around sunset time. Today is Friday, so it's like their day of prayer. So it should be a little less crowded maybe, or maybe more crowded, I don't know, but bye. Inside the Casa Al Watan, and it is gorgeous, like gorgeous and huge. Everything is so fancy. Everything is gold. The coat rack, the baby doll holder, the baby sink, the grill, even the mate is gold. Toilet flush handle. from the mosque and it gives you like a very very beautiful view of the whole mosque and around this time like when it gets dark it's so pretty and i believe there's like a reflective pool there so i want to go there to take some pictures so i gotta figure out what a bus pickup spot is and this is it beautiful reflection Walking because I'm starving and I saw on the map they have this 
Lulu Piper Market in a Daiso. I'm so excited. I love Daiso. They had them in Tokyo and they're just like, not like a dollar store. I guess they do have some stuff for a dollar, but they just have the most random stuff ever. So, I don't know. I'm going to look around. I think it's like a mall. They got a Popeyes in there too. So, get something to eat and some snacks and stuff. This chicken is not spicy. It's dry as hell. About to choke. Definitely need to be drinking something with it. It's cold and nah, that wasn't it. But I was starving, so I'ma eat it. But I'm about to order some food. Just got back to my room. Let's see what we bought. Just be buying stuff at foreign little grocery stores. I got a pistachio donut and an avocado donut. Very interesting. A honey cake. I have no idea what a honey cake is. I never had a honey cake. But they are super into honey out here. Like there's so many honey shops everywhere. So I'm assuming it must be good. This lychee soda. They did not have the honey, the melon kind that I got yesterday that I really like. So I'm sad about that. And this. Okay, I'm excited about this because I've been trying to get my hands on one of these since I was in Tokyo in like 2018. And they were sold out every single time. So I'm excited. They called it a cheesecake, but in Japan, they say they're pancakes. To me, it looked like a big fluffy pancake. It kind of does smell like a cheesecake though. And I bought this from Daiso just because, why not? I can't fit nothing else in my suitcase, but I needed this. Because for like clear bag policy games, like football games and stuff. What else I got? A luggage lock, cause they Freaking broke mine off, stupid TSA. Um, oh, and a luggage weight. Oh my God, I needed one of these. This is actually a good pur purchase. It was an impulse purchase, but it's useful. I'm actually gonna use this. And I'm gonna need it before I go home. And what is this? Earplugs, cause I lost my one of mine at the last festival I worked. I don't know how I did that. So yeah. Let's try it. But I did not get a fork. I am a genius. This fluffy thing. Day two in Abu Dhabi. I have been extremely tired from waking up early to try to make these timed entry bookings that I made for tickets to see places. And today I said none of that. I don't know what it's going to do if out here in Abu Dhabi, the art museum, take some pictures. But I was not booking a time entry and I looked and you don't have to book the time. You just get it for the whole day and you can go. So I got up now. It's almost like three o'clock. I'm just getting ready to go out and I'm great. We're going to have a good time. So, this is definitely the spot I was really looking for. And it's empty. I love that for me. These stairs with the water in the background. Beautiful. All right. I'm actually so annoyed because the sun is like killing the vibe right now it's way too bright on this side and i can't <laughs> I really wanted to go there to take pictures with this platform place in there but the way it's set up is so hard to do by yourself so I really did a video and it's just like the lighting wasn't the best I didn't love it and I, when I got there the sun was just killing from overhead so that lighting was not good but at the end I went after I finished the tour and uh finished going through the museum i came back out and i was taking pictures on my tripod in the video when it was around like sunset and some nice little photographer came up to me some guy with his camera and he was like i can take pictures of you and that never happens to me i'm always the one who that happens to so it finally happened to me and he took some so he actually took my memory card out of my camera put it in his camera and then gave it back that was so sweet of him so i just ordered some food i don't even know what this is I got wings, but this is like some chicken strips. I think it's part of the kids meal. But I got two 
orders of the six piece. That is, hope that's good. It's very hot on my leg. I finally got the freaking delivery app to work with my American phone number. Oh my God, that was a struggle yesterday. I was starving. So, bon appetit. Let's try this little chicken first. That chicken I had yesterday was gross from that supermarket. So, there we go. Touch up. So, I would say that Louvre Museum, it's not that impressive. Oh, that sauce is spicy. <coughs> I would honestly skip it. I didn't book ahead of time. I went out to take pictures to see if I even needed to pay to get to the part that I wanted to. And the inside part you did, but for what I got, it still wasn't worth it. <laughs> I'm going to leave Abu Dhabi tomorrow to go to Dubai, which is my final stop on this birthday tour. So I'm excited. So all the stuff I really wanted to do is in Dubai. So saving the best for last. I hope I have the best time. The place that I actually leave from to get to Dubai, to take the shuttle to Dubai, is like right around the corner. I could literally walk. I didn't even realize it was so close. Honestly, Abu Dhabi is not too much to do here. I know most people usually are based in Dubai and then just do like a little day tour of Abu Dhabi from there. It's like an hour, hour and a half drive. And that's enough. You don't need to stay here the extra time. It's pretty, like after I did the Grand Mosque in the Louvre, there's really not much that I care to see or do. So if you come out here, I would say base yourself in Dubai. And if you want to come here and just see the mosque, just like, do a tour they have a million tours and they're not expensive checking out of the hotel in abu dhabi i have got this overpacking thing down to a science got everything tied up together we good going and catch the shuttle to dubai